That just that that just feels so magical. That just felt so so magical. I just did a Dr. Joe Dispenza meditation after a long time of really not doing deep visualization work. Um and I I I I feel so so moved, so changed. And I really feel like I need to just keep doing this every single day. I used to meditate for 30, around 30 minutes to an hour every single day. Uh, I did that for a while and then in like the last year, um, it really just slowed down drastically because I've been so focused on the business and on the inputs as you you might have seen from my my latest video because like if there's a certain goal and you know that certain things need to be done you focus on those things that need to be done those inputs right and that's what I've been doing for quite some time but um, it all really stems it really all boils down to decision-making and what decisions are being um, being made every single day and whether or not those decisions are reflective of a future self a future vision and I mean it really does seem to be that way you know um, I'm very clear on my goals and my where I need to go but dang like doing this this meditation was so so moving so visceral and um i think this is the kind of the con the kind of reminder that i need to continue giving myself um daily of that future self and feeling how how visceral how real it is because even though i know what i'm trying to do and know how i'm going to accomplish it um I don't entirely know how I'm going to accomplish it, right? I mean, I do have um, an aim, a trajectory, and I know that I have all these steps that I got to take every day, but then, but I do wonder, like, you know, is there um, a slightly different, slightly different path? If the, the outcome that I want is the river and the tributaries are all flowing to the river, you can slightly take a different path. And sometimes I think about that. When you think about wealth, and accumulating financial freedom, it comes down to the vehicle that you're in. For example, a thousand hours in one field, get a certain result, and then you can put a thousand hours in another field and get 10x what you're gonna get from the first thing. I've been reminded about the, the 10x principle of not only just doing like Grant Cardone says, like 10x of what you're already doing, but uh, more along the lines of 10x vision. I was prompted to get back into meditation and to do Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditation and it's just, man, such a great reminder of how, how, how incredible it can feel to be in that, um, to be in that data hurts state, you know, where you're almost asleep. But at the same time, you're awake and and creating from that safe space of relaxation. Because for me right now, you know, growing this business and, and scaling, and hiring and managing over seven account, like six, seven accounts, and going through, you know, so many <laughs> different challenges in the business and even, you know, challenges and personal it's been it's been really hectic very very stressful this meditation is what I need that's <laughs> what I needed I think it's so important to to focus on the inputs like I said in the in the previous video at the same time it's gonna be powerful to get back into co-creation of life and reality via meditation and getting into that deep space of the theta hertz and creating out of relaxation because creating out of stress is not the same as creating out of that relaxed state peace oh please keep your mind at ease it's 
obvious. When you're in this stressed out state, your energy is like out of whack, like, right? It's just kind of crazy, it's hectic. Like it kind of looks like it's this moving all around, right? But what does it look like when you're in the, the, the theta hertz, right? When you're relaxed, you, your energy is like, um, like a straight line. Like if, if your energy is stable, then you can have clear focus, clear energy to, to focus on the thing, on that vision of your ultimate reality. It is not easy to feel great and super clear about that ultimate vision when you're in a constant state of battle mode. You know what I'm saying? Like the energy's moving all around the place. It's gonna be hard to, to really pull that reality. So I think it's a balance. It's really, it's a balance. And I think I've been slightly off balance by being in full like battle mode every single day, growing the business. I mean, of course it has been growing. Lots of things have been improving, um, but I got a I got a quantum leap there. <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to quantum leap there, not not to not to take the stairs. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take the elevator up there. So maybe you're in a similar sp space like me. Maybe you've been stressed out. Maybe you you got a lot going on, and maybe you fell off of your meditation a bit, because I did. I'm just being completely honest here. And, um, you know, I, I, I've been meditating maybe like two to three times a week, but it's just like 10 minute intervals, like sometimes 20, sometimes 30 minutes, but not really that much more than that as of lately. Meditating for a little bit is good, but it doesn't feel as powerful. If you're only meditating for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you're not getting into that that deep space, you know, the deep theta hurts. 10 minutes does not give you enough time to do that. It doesn't give you enough time. You, in 10 minutes, you can only just relax. You can't actually, like, envision and start creating. That's just relaxation, the 10 minutes. It doesn't feel as powerful as 30 plus minutes. Now that feels powerful. Now that feels really powerful. You get to that, that real deep space of relaxation after say 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then you start creating. You start really feeling as if you're there. And that just, that, that just feels so magical. That just felt so, so magical. Hoping that maybe this can um, remind you to maybe get back into it and uh, remind myself to get back into it more. So that way I can really, really connect to that ultimate future self. I'm ready to get back into these deep states. Start really pulling, like really viscerally pulling that future ultimate self into the now. Peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease. It's obvious.